I swear Brittany is so annoying. Always has been, well, ever since I started believing that she was my representation back in 2013. She has annoyed me a lot. And still, it's she's bothering me. It's like... It's like on one hand, I feel like there's two different people. And I did actually see a couple of clips where people were saying that some of her Instagram posts are fake, that they're using some sort of face changing thing to, and they're putting it on someone else. And I I don't know what to believe. I really don't know what to believe. Um, I, I feel like, you know, some of the, the stuff she did was, it was cruel. It was horrible. It was so insulting. And it was, it was interesting how she didn't see she didn't see like the stuff that she did in 2013 14 15 you know maybe maybe there's a possibility that she did all that believing that she, i don't know i don't think she believed it, she was helping me i think though the mindset of people back in 2013 was very very different to the mindset now you know back then you know the possibility of god being a real person wasn't wasn't in anyone's mind basically only in the delusional religious people who clearly weren't out for truth at all like if you read the bible and you think that truth is in there you know how can you tell if there's truth if if there's so many lies and there's so, so many obvious lies and you know the fact that they weren't seeing that means that they clearly weren't after truth um and then with all the people that you know with the amount of people in the world amount of problems and I think the amount of people saying that God can do everything and, and just giving this completely false perspective of God, you know, it would only make that would only make people hate God. And so I think in 2013, when I first started telling people that I was God, you know, it was likely that a lot of people would turn against me. I, I think I, I knew that. Why? Because even I turned against me. I was like, what the fuck? I'm God. Why would I create this world? Why would I want this world to be like this? You know, why? would I have all these problems and stuff, you know, I wouldn't do this. And then it became the obvious answer was, well, obviously I, I can't do everything, but I can't do anything. That's, that's how it felt like. It felt like my higher self was telling me that I was God, but also saying, yeah, shit, this world is shit. And there's obviously nothing I can do. There's nothing, nothing, nothing you can do. And, and then I was just hoping that, you know, the people and singers that were doing things about me behind my back, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that they knew. I'm pretty sure that they knew through Martin. Um, I have no evidence that he knows, um, but I know that they something weird happened with there was a change in the YouTube videos and then the comments and stuff. So I knew people, someone knew, and it just it felt like they were setting something up. But at the same time, it also felt like everything they were doing was just insulting me. On one hand, what could I do? You know, if you, if you think a bunch of people are helping you yet insulting you at the same time you know what can you do if you know your god and you also know that this world is 100 percent not what you wanted it to be it's everything you don't want it to be everyone seems to be doing anything backwards knowing that you've had a, such a shit life where you can't seem to control anything and and you you hate your mom you hate where you live you hate the situation you've been put in you hate everything about your life you hate everything about the planet and yet somehow your god you know that's that's how it felt like and then i was just like well, i'm just going to focus on, on positive stuff you know if my higher self has put me in this position she's obviously done it for a reason and i'm just assuming that the angels are going to help me and 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 they didn't and i'm pretty sure that Brittany knew back then you know the stuff that she did one two three you know i mean i'm sure that's pretty about her, her mocking me saying that it's fine to have a threesome which I, I was, I'm not actually that, if you don't know who you want, then sometimes having a threesome or the idea of a threesome might be okay. Cause it's like, well, you were okay. But, but it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. Cause it was like, actually, I don't want either. I don't want any, any threesomes. I don't understand why she did three, but I did understand why she did three because I'm the third Christ and she did it for that reason. And then there's, I'm sorry, Adam. I mean, on one hand, it's like, I'm sorry, Adam ate the apple. I'm not sorry that I ate the apple. I love the apple. I mean, if there was an apple of knowledge, I would I would eat it and I'll keep eating it. You know, knowledge is good. Um, and so I, I was, you know, I was confused by everything she did. And, and the alien song that was horrible it made me feel like, like, you know, about me that, but you're just going to see me as an alien. And I'm just going to have this horrible, shitty life, live in a horrible, shitty world and also feel isolated and cut off. And it's fine to just like call me. It was horrible. Everything she did was horrible. And I, I just got a feeling what happens if, if she knew this and and at some point she started waking up and realizing 
wow i'm against anna i've always been against anna what was the last song she did i can't remember the last song she did um there was one song she did off i don't know i don't know what it was maybe if i find the answer of that what was the last song she did released before she properly went mad um i don't know but maybe she's not properly mad maybe maybe she realized that she's against me realized that i'm insult that she's done nothing but insult me insulting insulted me and i don't know i, I don't know um and maybe she's got some temporary person in there to just mock her because but then again did she not realize that all the stuff that she's been doing in the last three years has only made my problems worse because i've still been telling people that she's my representation even though that didn't even make any sense to me um and and yeah i just i don't know i don't i don't know i feel like i'm almost looking at two people you know that when i see pictures of her in the music videos it's like i'm looking to, at someone different to how i see her now and so I, she's she confuses me she really does confuse me and you know has she has she got a, a temporary in there to just take over her, her account I, I think there was a point where i said that there is good in her which is that you know if people see us if we're similar but not the same you know i could say that that was my intention five years ago to, to say that you know she was my representation and then see if people actually believe that you know because really she's nothing like me so um you know it will people believe that but as soon as i said that that was when the change happened and i know that was when the change happened and she started just she she went from someone who was similar to me but slightly different to someone who's just completely nothing like me and i think after i, I just ignored it for a few more years after that and then it suddenly occurred then it then it occurred to me when i came back to her and i started i think it's because it, when i first moved here in 2017 um, I moved here because I'd given up on humans. I'd given up on, on the possibility that you were ever going to help me. And I was just kind of saying to myself, I'm going to forget about it, try and just focus on my life, try and just just be happy and just just accept that I'm living in a dustbin and and not care about anything. You know, that's that's kind of how I how I just saw it. So I, I stopped thinking about this. And then a few years later, I think it was probably actually I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I keep I felt like I keep putting myself to sleep and telling myself I'm not God and then and then waking up and you know, I know I had the time with Robbie that would that kind of woke me up and, and then well still he didn't help me. And then he's had some strange fourth baby that I still don't know if it even exists. Um and then then there was another one where where I was looking at Gaga's songs and I suddenly realised she represented the devil and that was like a year or two later and uh, and then when I at LA and another wake up and I've been so tired in the last few days, last few weeks even. I was just supposed to meet a friend yesterday. He didn't call me, but um, I think he's going through the same thing. I think he's feeling the same effect of the tiredness that I'm going through. He's had it all his life. He doesn't believe it's because of me. I know it's because of me because I'm God and I'm things that I'm going through are affecting people around me. Um, but if I try and tell him that, he will just be like, that's not true. <laughs> um, so it's really bizarre how to live in this and you know this thing with my sister's house you know it's it's completely insane why someone would have a three-bedroomed house in birmingham that's by your sister and yet you rather be a homeless person in brighton so she ran off to brighton to be a homeless person found some christian who had a hotel and she she was living in there free of free of rent for a couple of months which also didn't really make that much sense i mean why why would that happen it's almost like she was trying to keep Sophie away, but technically because Sophie was away, we had this problem with the house where it was it was empty throughout the first lockdown. We got another one tenant in there. You know, when, when we first bought the house, um, it was supposed to be with my sister and her husband and me. And that seemed fun because I know that I don't know the legal sides or the law sides. And I felt my sister was always with with uh, with her husband felt ever since I ever since she was 16, they, they pretty much lived together um and yeah i never realized how stupid she was because she was always with him i hardly ever saw her when i did see her you know everything seemed fine there was nothing no problems but i think it's because he's quite smart or fairly he's smart for a human um and and then um and and she always just did whatever he he, he did and and therefore i never saw any real problems with her 
it was only when the separation happened did I realize that she she's incompetent and she can't do things and she just wants to find a partner and just do whatever he wants and then that's kind of how she's been almost programmed and 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 I, I and I think George you know he his mother had, his father always did everything for his mother like even chop up her, her food on her plate I saw that you know so that's that's how he was brought up he was brought up to believe that the father does everything and the woman the female has to do doesn't have to do anything and so when he had this relationship with Sophie I think he saw that as normal even though it wasn't um and I never found out I got to know I never got to real really know Sophie because when I was a child and with her you know she used to copy me and do everything that I said um like make me balls and cereals and stuff but I like that you know I liked her being like that and I guess I was too young myself to to really question it um I, I guess I just thought that she would grow up and turn into a human being and because I've had this such complicated weird life you know if I think about Brittany you know has she got lost lost her mind you know has she gone through something my sister's gone through where she you know seems fine and normal because of all the people around or in Brittany's case because of all the people around her was in my sister's case because of George um you know has she always had this mental illness or 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 has it has it just been something formed or is it is it that she halfway through the trip like five years ago realized that actually everything she does is a massive insult to me and maybe she started seeing the beast that I'm seeing I sometimes feel like I read into things and I see things that aren't the truth but it almost feels like my higher self is just trying to scare the shit out of me um and yeah she's very good at doing that um did she do that to her maybe that's why she's gone mad or does she Brittany even know about me I I just I don't know I really have no clue um and yeah, this thing though, it, on, on one hand, it's bad that Sophie ran off and just abandoned this house that she is technically hers because, you know, they were, they owned three quarters, I owned one quarter. And because he was, Sophie's partner was, was good with like um, documents and stuff, you know, he was supposed to handle all that. And I was supposed to just kind of manage the property. And if anything, you know, if any problems really happened, I could go to them, but that, that never happened because they've split up. Sophie's got that house as part of her divorce thing and and Sophie seems to have absolutely no interest in it you know I tried to get her to mow the lawn she was like oh you don't need to mow a lawn it's a big garden it's a it's a very big garden biggest garden in a front garden in in the whole of the sort of block and it's weird how it starts from number 10 there's no number one to nine um the first house is a number 10 and I'm on 27 Martin close um but uh yeah it's just weird things and but because Sophie ran off and has, has abandoned the house, I guess I've learned, I've, get, I've got to learn things through this house. Um, you know, there's people in there that, um, they didn't cause me problems at the beginning, um, except for the fact that um, the, the, we, we were paying the bills because there was supposed to be a short let. Um, and then I tried to get, I realized that the importance of getting them to pay the bills. I mean, it didn't matter during the summer because bills are low um but i think they moved in in january actually so it there would there would have been expensive a bit at the, at the beginning but because it was only for three months there was no point in swapping the bills and then and then when it turned into the summer it was like well we, we can still cover the bills because it's um because it's you know bills are fairly cheap and then around october time the bills doubled literally because of this i think it was something with russia going on uh, the bills doubled and then that's that was like wow well, if if the bills have gone from 200 to 400 i think i worked it out that it wasn't that bad but yeah i think we, we might have been undercharging from the beginning but i i don't know but it just stresses me out um and you know they, they've they haven't they have they've kept the, the house okay you know i don't think there's any real problems but yeah it's annoying how i have to deal with it and i don't know what you do in situations if someone owns a house and is also mentally ill or not capable of you know do the government take responsibility for their share or what happens if someone owns a quarter of it i mean technically i do you know i definitely do have a say in the house and stuff but um it shouldn't be me that does all this and it's kind of unfair that it's been placed on me um but yeah um i i, I don't care i think I, I would rather just sell my quarter and and not have anything more to do with it that's that's what i would rather do um and um but yeah um it's, it's weird though how how the lady was was like oh we made a contract and it says for a year and 
I can't actually remember the contracts. I, I think I, I think she might have. Yeah, I think she wrote the contract out because my my sister didn't want to sign a contract because she didn't she didn't actually want them in there. She didn't want them in there the first year. The first year, um, I think we came in January and the the divorce, the split happened around well because of lockdown. We waited until after the lockdown and the split happened, and then she they she couldn't you know the lockdown the lockdown was from like March and and April May or something and yeah and uh, and afterwards you know so she had already been there six months and afterwards she was Sophie was supposed to go and live with her and then she just ran off didn't want anything to do with the house and 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 then I tried to get her to you know try and make find I don't really know what we did but she 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 just wasn't wanting to get involved in it in, in anything um and 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 then by January time, you know, I think it was in November actually, November, no December, that was, yeah, it was the following year. So we put on on Airbnb for about six months, um, but we didn't really get that many people in there. And then, and then throughout the whole of the winter, she kept saying, "Oh, I'll, I," she said, "I'll I'll move in or maybe I'll think about it." And then month another month passed. You're just losing rent, and I was just like, "Look, I'll get someone in there. Are you definitely not going to come?" She agreed to, so I signed it for a year. And then halfway through that year, she changed her mind and did want the house back. I think she split up with someone that she had and, and wanted the house back. And her, 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 she was actually saying to us that she wants to just walk into the house, break it or open the door, get in and start living in the house with the tenants. And I was like, you can't do that because we signed a contract saying that they can stay there. I think uh, it was at, at the beginning. I signed the contract because Sophie just hadn't, hadn't got a mind straight. I think she was actually in the mental hospital at that time. So I did sign a contract for a year at the beginning. Um, um, not because I wanted to sign it, but just because Sophie was literally in a mental hospital and, and wasn't thinking straight. And um, and when she came out of the mental hospital, she, her plan was to just break into the house and just start living there. And I was like, you can't do that. We signed a contract to save from living for a year. So we all stopped her from doing that. But yeah, after the year ended, um, she sometimes was just settled down there and didn't really want to come back. So we, we kind of did a verbal agreement where you could stay longer and, and stuff. and. And yeah, that's basically how it started, and and now just caught up in this in this big mess of what to, what to do. Sophie does want them out, but um, she has to, you know, give a few months, and and she's not even, you know, the late she did. I I told her a few months or to to talk to Sophie about this because it's not my property; it's her property. And I don't really know what they said, but she told me last week that she tried to call Sophie, and Sophie just said that I should handle it. Um, so yeah, so he's telling me to handle it and I'm saying that I don't know how to handle it. And the annoying thing is if he actually wants wanted to wants to buy another house, he's like, Oh, let's save up to buy another house. I'm not buying another house of you. If if all if all I'm gonna do is buy a quarter and you're gonna buy three quarters, then you're gonna expect me to do all the work. I am not gonna buy it another house. I don't think Sophie realizes how problematic houses can be. You know, you actually have to do something, you actually have to fix things, you actually have to make sure people are paying you can't just have tenants in there that, that refuse to pay and don't move and you know you have to be nice to them because they could just say i'm not paying the rent this month you know so from what what i've learned from housing is that they are very very stressful and i don't actually want to have anything to do with with owning houses of people that that i can't manage you know um but yes mm.